me about the verse related with God also knowing and picking Abraham, a special person, right? So both are involved with the Old Testament. Doesn't yet change my view, but I need to be careful now. Because here I have one focusing on God knows who is the person related with Eli. Other here, I know who is on the way there like this You see the difference in the view. Now, if I study the Greek itself, okay, I go ahead and I see which word in the Greek language is first, which word is second, which word is third, I proceed through the Greek language. What happens? I see the word elect there. You see it? Because of that, I must support not the old English here. It's not bad, no. It's close. But a better translation for that word is here with the net here. And why do I know that's right? Because if I study full counsel of God's word, and please open for you Psalms chapter 1, verse 6, I will learn the proper translation here also. Psalms chapter 1, verse 6, you know the last verse. Now, how do we apply that today? 
I'm going to give you the topic for the book now. Through the book lecture, I want to give you... You remember Paul talked about the best is love, but also we have faith and hope. Now, be careful. Some churches emphasize grace. Paul himself emphasized nope. Love was the best, faith and hope. Those were the emphasis of Paul. Now, God's grace is good. Grace leads us to salvation. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. Worship Him. But be careful. Don't emphasize wrong. Paul himself tells you, God himself through his word tells you, hope is one emphasis we need to encourage you through the church. So my lectures, not just this week, but next week, two weeks, three weeks, are to inspire hope in you, to give you hope, to inspire yourself to understand God knows your plan and your rights. First, you finished and chosen. Before God created you, God chose and know who you were here. Praise the Lord for that, because you do not depend on, does God know me? I don't know. I don't. Please, stop. David declared, when I was not yet knit and connected together in the womb, God knew. I want to give you hope in God knows everything about you. God knows about all your problem situations. Now, I have knowledge some of you in the world have some problems, okay? Because some of you tell me. Now, some of you don't tell me, but I know you have problems also. <laughs> okay? You can't hide that. Holy Spirit told me. Holy Spirit shows. Now, what's the point? God knows everything about you, and also he knows about the way Psalm chapter 1 verse 6. He knows the way of the righteous. Now, let's continue in 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 2 and then close. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 2. Elect person, elect group, according to the knowledge before, related with God the Father, through sanctification related to the Spirit, to obedience, to the sprinkling related with blood of Jesus Christ. Grace to you. Peace come. And we see, finished, we talk about you've been chosen, the group. Secondly, God knows about your way. Thirdly, Holy Spirit now is involved with what? Sanctifying you every day. One, you need to sanctify for you to become obedient to God. If you study the book of Ephesians, husbands love your wife the same as Christ loves the church, right? Why? Because Christ sanctifies the church. The same as the husband should sanctify the wife. The Holy Spirit is working to help you obey Him. God's will is known through His Word here. The Holy Spirit now helps you apply the Word of God. PJ, have to sit down. Secondly, the Holy Spirit helps you to have faith to continue in we see here that it happens. Elect according to long ago known God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit to obey and also to the blood being sprinkled. Now you remember the Old Testament. They arrived at the altar of God with the Lamb, right? Cut the throat. There was a bowl. Now, arrived with the bowl to the altar. How did they use that? Sprinkled on the four corners, mm -hmm. right? With blood. Mm -hmm. Not on the people. We're talking about on the altar. Because that was the mercy seat of the Lord. So here we talk about faith. You have faith. And we need to continue that faith every day. You remember the Old Testament temple, the Old Testament tabernacle. Not once. 
But every day they would kill a lamb, they would kill bulls, they would kill birds, they would kill, and the blood would sprinkle again and again. Damn. First John chapter one verse nine. If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to so every day you need to remember the blood of Jesus Christ for your own forgiveness. Every day to confess that. So we have sanctification related with obedience and also sanctification related with forgiveness through the book. Lastly, grace. Full are your works. Don't forget that. Some people focus on grace, grace, grace. Wonderful. Some people, peace, 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 without the grace. But there's a balance in God's word. If you study through the Bible, you will find a balance between two things. First, grace and peace. And second, between grace and truth. Normally, you find the word grace, you will also find printed peace. For other choice, truth, those two. Don't forget to ask. Yours. God has given you the full measure of grace, the full measure of peace, and also the full measure of truth. Did you notice that? In verse 2, did you see all three and one in the verse? Please read again. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2. God the Father, the Spirit. Did you see? Because Peter is emphasizing the three and one here involved with salvation. Your salvation does not only depend on God the Father does not only depend on Jesus Christ, does not only depend on the Holy Spirit, but all three work together to make your salvation seal, walk, and decide. Strangers, people who are scattered in the world, Peter was encouraging to give hope to you. Why? Because God knows the way it's not a surprise for God. Maybe a surprise for you, but God finished you. And you can depend on Him through problem. We're going to close in prayer. We're going to have a short break now, and then we'll come back for Sunday school class. Uh, around 50 minutes, we'll have a class now. It'll be short. Okay. I'll give you about a 5 to 10 minute break right now. Okay. Samuel has a
Простите. Ne prenda pa ono.
Chichi. Chichi.
That could probably make the mom when they would have loved him, got him. And why would that be? That bad thing up and up. My mom, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that could be at the bank. <laughs>
Well, well, for a
Eu tô no pé, meu cu.
need to know what time. Five. Oh, I'll be right now.